How's it going everybody? I got a little story I want to share with you. Um, it's about health care. It's about active duty military and health care and denial of health care so on and so forth. I have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ex-active duty, active duty. I did 20 years in the Air Force. Um, I've had to have stuff done uh, medical-wise. Um, whenever you're active duty, active duty personnel, for the most part, were never denied treatment that they need. Well, that's changed. I have a good friend that's still active duty. He has back problems. He's had back problems for quite some time. He's been in the military for 19 years. And uh, he went to the doctors and they sent him to a specialist. And the specialist did an MRI and they determined that he has two discs in his lower back that need to be replaced. He's uh, 40 years old, so, you know, they're, they're starting to plan to have this surgery and what have you, the military, the government, whatever, submits the paperwork to TRICARE, and uh, they deny it. They denied him surgery on his back when he is still active duty in the United States military. To me, there is something wrong with that picture right there. Active duty military should not ever be denied a procedure, health care that they need. You know, this isn't like he went in there and he's, he's wanting to have whatever, Botox injections or some crazy off-the-wall crap done, you know, elective surgery. His back is screwed up. And he needs to have the disc replacements done and the government turned it down. TRICARE turned it down. And they're claiming that disc replacement surgery is experimental surgery now. It's experimental to have your disc replaced in your back. But yet it's a FDA approved procedure, but now they're saying that it's experimental surgery. So the point of this whole thing is, is uh, welcome to socialized medicine. Welcome to what it's going to be like and even worse if Obama's health care plan actually goes through the Supreme Court and is upheld. There's a lot of people out there that say, oh, it's such a good thing. You know, everybody can have coverage. I mean, everybody should have coverage. There should be nobody without coverage. And on the surface, that, that would be awesome. But the bottom line of it is, is the health care in this country will go down the toilet. Socialized medicine is never a good thing. I mean, you can look at Cuba, Canada. You know, there are stories, I've seen it on YouTube. People in Canada have cancer. They need to see a specialist. It's eight months before they can get in to see this specialist. Um, the VA system in the United States, I socialize medicine. You know, if I need to see my doctor, I have a primary care provider at the VA. If I need to get an appointment to go in and see him for whatever, i got something going on, you need to go to the doctor. It's six, seven weeks before you can get in. So that's the way it would be nationwide if Obamacare is passed. I can't believe it will be, but who in the hell knows. But uh, it's, it's, it's going down to our active duty military now as well being denied health care. Um, he was just told that uh, 
there have been numerous. This is something that's just, just kind of started happening here just fairly recently. And he's in an appeals process right now, trying to appeal it. I'll update you, you know, how that comes out. Um, his doctor out on the base has been contacting people out at the Pentagon and what have you, trying to figure out what the heck's going on, blah, blah, blah. But of course, there's, I'm sure, I don't know this firsthand, but I'm sure there's stonewalling going on all over the place. So something to be aware of, something to think about. Um, if you're sitting around riding the fence thinking that uh, Obamacare, i.e. socialized medicine, is a good thing, you wait till it affects somebody in your family or you when they need to have something done and the government steps in and says, no, no, we're not going to do that. You know, uh, Sarah Palin was, was ridiculed for calling them death panels. Well, that's exactly what they will be. You know, you're 70 years old and you need to have something done and they, if the government declares that the cost is prohibitive, you know, to spend that money on you at 70 years old to have whatever done, then they just won't do it. They'll just start shoving pain pills down your throat and you'll just die eventually, you know, whatever it might be. So... The United States right now, or it did have two years ago, you know, for, for the last decades, the best health care in the world. World-renowned. And uh, the current regime is looking to destroy that in the name of fairness. It's not good, folks. Take care. We'll see you.